Alright, so you got some stuff for yourself, Smurfette? That's good, honey. Listen, I'm in the bank just needing to put some money into the deposit box for the holiday later on. How much do we have? Um, I think there's $900. How much does the holiday cost? $1,200. Well, we're planning at different places for the holiday. That makes sense that it would cost this much. Well, I shouldn't be in here too long, so I should be back home soon. Did I get the shopping? Yeah, I got some stuff like Homer's beer, some oil for Jenny, fruit for Yoshi, and some junk food. How many beers did I get? Got a 12 can pack. So at least Homer can shut up about the lack of beer. Okay, I'll see you later. Love you, sweetheart. <laughs> Hope you enjoy the last call with her. Because you won't be alive afterwards. Ah! Sporty Smurf! Ugh! <laughs> <laughs> So, gone that desperate that you're doing this in a bank vault. I wouldn't say desperate, more like picking a quiet place that no one can come and save you. So, a complicated way of saying desperate. Ugh, whatever, I don't care, just die already. <laughs> ah, my knife! <laughs> oh, thanks for the little workout, Spoy Smurf. Now, if you can excuse me, I gotta go. What the? Hey! Hello! Anyone here? I'm trapped in the vault! <laughs> Even better. Locked by my foe. Perfect time to kill you. How are you gonna kill me if you don't even have a knife to stab me? <laughs> Just because I don't have a knife to kill you, doesn't mean I got other ways to kill ya. <laughs> what else could you have? Since you're not the guy who have many objects in those pants, even if you got any pockets in them. Well, it's true I don't have any pockets. I don't need a weapon to kill you after losing the knife. Boy, trying to get to your neck is much harder than I thought it would be. <laughs> Thank you, hedgehog neck, for not being like most people's necks. Even then, you can be beaten up to a bloody pulp. That depends if you catch me. Your speed won't help you out this time, you blue fool. I listen to you, Spoilers Muff. I know you want to kill me, but you do realize we're now stuck in this vault, right? Duh. So it would be the perfect spot to kill you. I know you're crazy. Okay, crazy is a bit of an overstatement. More like insane. Thank you for making the little change. I do appreciate that. But even you need someone to talk to since it's like 7 p.m. And it won't be open until 10 a.m. Nah, I just kill you and fall asleep to kill the time until it opens. Well, if you do kill me, you will clearly be charged for murder, and maybe could have a longer sentence than the usual crap you put in. Worth it? Ugh, can you think straight for once? I mean, yes, it may be longer, but hey, like I got anything else to do. What about Fiona, huh? Would you love to have her alone for much longer than the usual break? <sighs> You're just lucky. Alright, so let's see if we can get out of here. Hmm, looks like the vault is shut so tightly, we would be lucky to even find a way to get out of here. Looks like something even Homer or Jenny couldn't rip out. Yeah, like Homer could rip this. He couldn't even open a jar of pickles. Eh, but even you can agree that Jenny could rip this open. Nah, this thing is just too tight that the robot girl couldn't rip it open. Hmm, and I got nothing else to open this up. Even with the, the fancy devices you have made, you didn't bring something with you? I was making the murder of you quick and painful, so I didn't bother. Painful and painful? You mean painless? Nope. If stabbed in the guts or brain, it'll be more painful. Did you seriously plan this out? Sure did. I mean, I did stalk you into the bank vault. Ugh. Wait, wait a second, I just got a good idea. And that is? My phone! And since there's some signal in here, I can try calling the others. Well, let's do it. Crap, 10% of battery, and the signal is really low. Look, give it a shot. Ugh, she must be busy. What about the green guy? Yoshi? Yeah, he doesn't even have a phone. Wait, what? How the hell is that thing doesn't even have a phone? Eh, beats me. What about the sponge or the fat man? 
What the shot, but Spongebob is having his anniversary with Jenny, so he could be busy. He can do whatever he wants with the Wombat later once he saves us. Hopefully. Uh, hello? This better be important. Spongebob, can you hear me? Sonic, is that you? You sound very off. The phone signal's bad. Please, get help since I'm trapped in a bank full with Sporty Smurf. I'm not that bad, okay? Sorry, Sonic, what? You're getting worse and worse. We're in the bank. Please help me. Sorry, Sonic, I can help you. Listen, if you get a higher signal, call me again, please. Huh? Oh, come in, Jenny, there. <laughs> Dang it. Hmm, that chuckle. I know that chuckle. Got to say, the sponge is going up. Well, at least I'm happy to hear that. Okay, so that didn't work. Homer's the only hope we have now. So, we're doomed. Don't give up just yet. Uh, hello? Who wants to sleep at work? Homer, can you hear me? Just barely, Sonic. You sound so quiet. Well, I'm trying to fall with Sporty Smurf. What? <laughs> oh, hang on, Sonic. Give me a second. That got it. Sorry, just had a handle or something at work. Now, what you were trying to say? Homer, me and Sporty Smurf are... No, no! Well, well, look how that ended. Dang it! So much for that plan. <sighs> Forget it. Let's just sleep since it'll be quicker we can get through this. And the better we'll get. Agreed. Hey, Sporty Smurf. What? I just realized something. And that is, tomorrow is a Sunday. And... The bank stays closed on that day. Crap. I know how you're feeling. <sighs> hmm? The hedgehog is still asleep. Oh, my smurf fairies. I saw you from a mile away. Uh, shut up. Mm. Well, since we're still here for another day, I guess it makes sense to have some of the food and drinks I got from yesterday. What did you get? Some small junk food like potato chips, chocolate bars, and candy. Oh, and also Duff beer. Is that the only drink you got? There's oil, so you're more than welcome to drink that if you don't want to drink beer. So, you're going to have beer? Well, it's the only drink here, so I guess it will do. Duff beer, 12 pack. Well, I guess we have an even pack. Boy, it feels so weird not having only beer, but Homer's beer. Eh, I'm used to drinking. How do you think I'm even able to deal with you? Well, I guess I could explain the failure on the machines. If you're not careful, I will drink the beer with a special recipe. Let me guess, my blood, guts, or something like that, I guess? I... um, hmm. Yeah, basically. N not surprised. <laughs> Jesus, now that is too strong. How the hell is Homer able to drink this stuff? Are you kidding me? This crap is too soft. I drank a lot heavier beer than this. So, you're an alcoholic then? Hmm? No. I would be like Homer's friend if I was an alcoholic. It's just something I use to calm my body down once in a while. Eh, I think that's still a sign of alcoholism. <laughs> Whatever. Just hope I don't get drunk from this. Hmm. Well, I got my full key so that I can get here. Might as well actually check it. Wait, you have your own safe deposit box? Well, duh. Even the craziest of villains have a safe deposit box. Okay. So, what do you have in your box? Hmm, just some money, a copy of our wedding picture, a power ring, and a stake of Genesis. Okay, two things. One. Didn't you give that power ring to the other dimension version of you in that 23 dimension place? I have two of them, so I thought it would be fair to give him one. Okay, and two, why is there a Sega Genesis in your box? Given the amount of classic old days, I hold it dearly. Okay. Anyway, you? Eh, just some stuff from Smurf Village before you ruined everything. Nice mushroom trophy. Oh, thanks. Mmm, well, might as well keep drinking. Hmm, same here. How many beers did we drink? Uh, 
six cans? Boy, three, three beers can clearly make an impact. Well, for Duff, at least. Boy, this feeling. I can't tell if it's amazing or torture. <laughs> torture. Clearly you never got torture like those chicks, okay? How, how are you able to make those traps? You must have like millions of dollars like those Saw sequels. A lot of time can help a lot. Hey, just curious. Why do you go with Fiona? I mean, you were clearly obsessed with her like for years. Eh, just gave up on her. Besides, Fiona is much more my type than Smurfette. Well, I guess it makes things easier for me and Smurfette until you met those jigsaw games. Could have been worse on you. I could have done hostile or the human centipede on you. Hey man, I just drank. Don't make me vomit. Just saying. Well, don't say it. Too bad. I just did. I would have been okay if you said you would go happy death day or ghost face on me instead. Eh, not as interesting. <laughs> Figures. So, the hell even happened to you that isn't caused by me? Buster, you got no idea. I had to deal with Faxus's attempt at taking over Earth. Homer's old foe trying to take over Heroville. We went through a different dimension where we were the bad guys. Then after that, most of the adventures dealt with SpongeBob and Jenny now that I can think about it. Heh. <laughs> Now that's bad that you don't even have much outside of that Ghost Bride movie we worked on. Well, after the most of the adventures I had to deal with is from you, I think I prefer the smaller adventures over your crazy adventures. I wouldn't be like this if you didn't ruin life for me and making me into this. Me? Are you kidding? No. Oh yeah, I'm always the cause of everything. It's never your fault since you're just the most perfect psychopath. I prefer crazy, but I guess that works too, I guess. Who cares? You're just like it's just the biggest pain of the ass. Like seriously. <laughs> like you're any better. You think life is all adventures and fun? Clearly you haven't left the ages of the 90s when the dark ages haven't come yet. Well, it's time to have a wake up call and see that life is terrible and you bring crap onto you. Dude, I've been dealing with this feeling of the 90s being over since 2003, and I'm at least trying my best to make life better for not only myself, but those I care about. Oh, save me your Care Bears after school lesson about friendship. Oh, okay. You wanna talk how I act? What about you? What about me? You ever think that most of these issues have been caused by you? Yes, I made mistakes. I'm human. I'm just like everyone else no matter what dimension of species I am. And you know what I also do like everyone else? Learn from them and try to improve for others. Have you, what have you done to improve? Hmm? Another check saw game? Another dimensional takeover? I try to improve life for the Smurfs. Yeah, by improving it, you mean made a lot worse. Hmm. <laughs> you won't understand since you weren't there to see it. Oh yes I have. I learned everything about you Sporty Smurf. About you actually being a Sporty Smurf. The stabbing of Gargamel's foot and... How do you even know about this? Did Smurfette tell you about that? Nope. Papa Smurf showed me a vision of your past. Wait. What? You heard me. Back when that infinite plan was going on... I was in Papa Smurf's house with Smurf Willow and Smurf Storm. Papa Smurf then showed me a vision of you being a sporty Smurf. Somehow you meaning Smurfette. I was created like weeks ago. And what, she was like created about years ago? Decades ago. Ah. Anyway, then I saw Papa Smurf give you temporary control of the village. Gargamel attacking and you stabbing his foot which got you to think that humans down would make life better. Tell me, did any of your Smurfs accept this thought? Hmm, well, ugh, no. Jeez, I wanna know why. 
Oh, I know. It didn't make sense for them since they knew that not all humans are like him. And since you wouldn't stop being a mad smurf, everyone just left you. And by now, you have caused a lot of pain and suffering to everyone's life. Especially after killing people like Brainy Smurf, Squidward, Bellwether, and so much more. Is it what the pain, Sporty Smurf? You think that's what something? Yes, it was. I, I think. You want to know something, Sporty Smurf? What? You want to know why I didn't kill you back when Infinite was defeated? I was given the choice to kill you. Why? Because I knew somewhere in you. The original Sporty Smurf was somewhere in you. Crying for some freedom from this state. You're clearly in. So I let you live. But clearly, I was wrong. Hm. So there. Who ruined whose life now? Hm. Do you ever think of going back and fixing your life? Fine. Stay quiet. You know what, Sonic? Here's something. The hell? Where do you get that gun from? From my trophy. Now prepare to die. The hell? Oh, why? I got to bring bullets. The hell are you doing with a gun in here? Eh. It's nothing. It was a quick way to save me and Fiona. And then my own life. Huh? What was that last part? What last part? I heard of something about ending. You're hearing stuff. Will you plan to end your life? Ugh. Yes. So what? I mean, Jesus, dude, why? Look, given how people don't like me and maybe life is just being too difficult for me, it's just a way to show there's a simple way to go and no one ever will be happy. Jesus, dude. Eh, kind of surprised you aren't acting happy about this. I mean, no matter how evil someone is, I won't let anyone go and do facts themselves, even you. Huh? You wouldn't? Yeah, I mean, no one needs to do that. Even then, there's always one person who doesn't hate you. Heck, even loves you. And that's Fiona. Do you really want to leave her behind? No. I don't. See? So why take it away when you got someone special to you? Look, maybe I can't change you. But at least don't do things like that that will hurt someone important like Fiona. Thanks, Sonic. So, now what? Eh, I guess just end the day by sleeping. Good idea. Huh? Finally, I can leave! Oh, come on, Sporty Smurf, you can leave him here and... Urgh. You're just lucky you helped me stay sane. Hmm. Next time, you won't be so lucky. Huh? Sporty Smurf? Huh. He actually helped me. Could be lucky. Next time we meet, I get a feeling he'll be back to the usual revenge towards me.